my name is Gwen Swain and I'm the owner of Mission Fit Camp in Mission Hills Pioneer Park in San Diego, California. Today is day 19 of 31 Days of Abs, a video series presented by DeliciousKnowledge.com. Today we're going to be working on a move called uh, Seated Twists and Row Boats. And for this we're going to need to warm up not only your lower back but also your hip flexors. So let's begin. I'm going to turn to the sides so you can see but we're just going to extend our arms down toward the ground, loosening up our lower back, and then bring your chin to your chest and slowly roll it up until you return to a neutral spine. Good. Let's do this again, rolling down. And rolling back up. And one more time, reaching down. And rolling back up. Good, to stretch out our hip flexors, maybe take your um, one leg back and then straighten both legs to begin. Then we're gonna bend just our front knee so that our back leg feels a stretch through the front of our hip flexor. And then we'll extend forward and we'll do four more. Here's four. Just make sure that your front knee stays behind your front toes. Three. Here's two. And one more time. And we'll switch feet, we'll do the second side. So both legs are straight, back heel's lifted. Bend in the front leg until you feel a stretch to the front of your hip. And then extend. Here's four. Three, two more, and last one right here. All right, let's go ahead and take it down to the ground and we're ready to begin. So we'll begin today targeting our obliques with some Russian twists. So sit up very tall, lean back just slightly, and we're gonna reach our opposite hand down to the ground on the opposite side of us, and then switch to the other side. Now I will say, if you're a beginner, sit up taller so that you don't strain your lower back too much. If you're more advanced, make sure that your chest is lifted and you can float your feet as you do these. Get ready, we're gonna do 10 on each side. Lift your, your feet up if you're ready for that, and here we go. It's one, two, keep your chest lifted, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, you can rest that lower back. Um, on this next one, it's a rowboat, so you'll take your hands right behind your body so your fingertips are pointing forward towards your heels. From here, we're gonna float our feet up off of the ground and lift our chest up towards the sky. As you stretch your legs out in front of you, we're gonna lean our back toward the grass and then you're gonna come back up into a tucked position. If you're more advanced, you can keep your arms extended out in front of you as you do these, or the most advanced version would be with your arms up over your head. So it's your choice. I'm gonna stay here for now. We're gonna start with just 10 reps. So chest up, lift the feet, reach out, lean back, and tuck. Here's two, three, four, exhale as you pull those knees in, five. Now you don't have to straighten your legs all the way out, seven, but you do wanna tuck up and forth with force. Eight, nine, and 10, good. We're gonna do the same movement, but repeat this on one side. So from here, and I'll turn towards you, we're gonna um, lift ourselves up just like before, but this time rotate so that both knees are pointing off to the diagonal and both feet off to the other side. As we stretch our legs out, we're gonna lean straight back, and then as you come up, tuck so that your heels are aiming towards one side of your glutes. Let's try for 10. So you're gonna lean back, and one, two, three, four. You should feel this in the lower part of the sides of your abs. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's do the same thing on the other side, so just adjusting. I usually use the cue if you had back pockets on your pants, you're just resting on one of those pockets. Float the feet and begin. Reach out and one, two, remember to breathe, three, four, five, chest up, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job, give your back a quick stretch and we'll go through a second and third round. Putting it all together, we'll begin with the Russian twist. So chest up, option to lift your feet and begin. It's 10, nine, good. Eight, seven, make sure not to round your back. That's the most important. Five, four, three, two, and one. Robos to the center. It's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Set yourself up. Repeat her to one side. Reach and tuck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, sit up and do it, eight, nine, and 10, switch sides, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven,
seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Rest your back just for a moment. We got one more round. When you're ready, lift those feet, chest up, and begin. Twist one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Turn those shoulders. Eight, nine, and ten. Row boats. One, two, three, four, five. You got it. Six, seven, eight, nine. You're almost done. Ten. To the side. For each one, two, three, four. Bring your chest up. Five, six, seven. Feel those legs. Eight, nine, and last time. Turn it. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Lean back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done. Let's go ahead and turn over onto our forearm plank for our finisher. By the way, I'm shooting on location today from Mequon, Wisconsin. I'm here for a family reunion, so this is just to prove that you can truly do these abs anywhere you are. I don't even have my mat today. So we're going to go ahead and take it down onto our forearms to finish today's workout. Let's go ahead and bring it down. Make sure your shoulders are right underneath your, sorry, right over top of your elbows. Feet together and begin. Here we go. So lengthening your spine from the crown of your head down to your tailbone. Pulling your belly button in away from the front of your shirt. Take long, deep breaths. Look down, check out your thumbs and just hold. And if you want a more advanced option today, if you want to bump this up, you're welcome to separate your hands. That makes it a little bit harder if this is feeling easy. Okay, just hold. In the past few days we've discussed a couple variations of this, so feel free to take this wherever you need to. Beginners, you can put your knees down. More advanced, you can walk your arms forward. Or you can do alternating leg lifts. We're holding for 20 more seconds. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Imagine you're holding your lower back up towards the sky. And long, deep inhales and exhales. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and melt those hips down to the ground. Point your toes out behind you. A little cobra stretch. And then we'll place our hands by our chest. Sit back onto your heels, stretching your arms out in front of you and do a child's pose. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow for the next video in this series, 31 Days of Abs.